young warrior Jubai returns home to his remote and once vibrant village in ruins, destroyed by Nobunaga's minions. With vengeance in his heart, Jubai launches upon an epic and magical quest, which which, which will reveal his ultimate destiny. Oof. And I'm assuming it's just like... I think it really does have to be either like a number or all. I think it has to be one or the other. This FMV is com compressed as hell. Also, what is this like? <laughs> Campy ass <laughs> samurai movie music thing we got going on here. The PS2 startup sound though, I know, nostalgic as fuck. Legitimately, PS1 and PS2 and GameCube. Those are the three best. That command command is so old. Holy shit. Anyways, those three have the best startup sounds of all time, man. Like, PS3, you know, I spent a lot of time with that. I like it. PS1, I actually didn't spend a ton amount of time with, but for some reason, it's still super nostalgic. But the PS2 startup sound, that shit is fire. And then the GameCube. GameCube was another one of my favorite consoles, man, and it just sounds so freaking good. With the cube and the rolling and the... Mm, it sounds so good. I like it. I like it, man. Let's go. Hey, Lily won. So it's really just Chocobo, man. Fuck you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why we're letting this play out now, but once it started, I felt like we need to, uh, we need to see this. I think he's singing about a killing machine. <laughs> I don't know, but anyways, we <laughs> we needed to hear this, man. This is this is important. This is. This is gameplay right here. Oh, there you go. Chocobo won. We need Nate in here so he can play some, man. Sorry, there's like a price sticker. I should have left the price sticker on here. Oh, now it looks so much worse. There was an old price sticker on the front of the game case for this game, and I wanted to take it off. But now it has like the stupid residue and like half-torn price label and stuff on here. So now it looks so much worse. I'm going to just have to like... One of these days, honestly, a project that I need to do is take all of the sleeves out of all of the game cases that I have and just freaking scrub every single one of them. But anyways, here's the, the thingy. This Campbell rigged. Won't recommend it. See, don't ask questions you don't want to know. That's what it's telling you right now. That's... <laughs> Let's play Onimusha 2! I'm hoping it works like Onimusha 1, because I really enjoyed Samurai Resident Evil. It was fun. The startup screen makes me think of it. And the music and stuff. <laughs> Subtitles on, stereo, brightness. Actually, do we need to adjust the brightness? It says, fuck you! Adjust the brightness on your TV! So never mind, it's good enough. Don't suppose we have the ability... Nope. Okay. Always got to see if the game supports progressive scan, because it just looks better when it does. New game. I'm not going to have any idea what's going on. We didn't finish uh, Onimusha 1 yet, so like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming things worked out. Lord Nobunaga Oda defeated Yoshimoto Imagawa in Okehazama. Soon after his victory... Nobunaga fell to a fatal arrow which pierced his throat. However, Nobunaga was far from finished. With the help of the demons, he rose from the dead. Fuck! began their rampage, slaughtering innocent villagers. Slaughtering? Then a young warrior, Samonosuke Akechi, stood up and defeated the demon king. The nightmare, however, did not end. A few years later, his strength restored. Nobunaga was set to conquer the entire country. Motion picture style 3D graphics. Let's go, dude. Copyright 2002. So did they just like... Bro, they really wanted to push like the motion movie part. I'm not reading flashcards. I'm reading the back of the fucking box. <laughs> Anyways, they were really pushing the whole this is a, a movie thing, aren't they? 
with the credits in the beginning and like showing who produced the movie and all this shit? Or do you mean the person, the voice actor? <laughs> Maybe you heard it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you meant the VA. That made so much more sense. <laughs> Once I thought about it for half a second, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no. That's actually why I started looking for the copyright. I wanted to see what year it was made, roughly. Um, because, like, that VA was a little... It was, uh, it was VA. That's for sure. We can, we can say that. That's factual. Got so defensive about that? Cause fuck you, it's the box, it has interesting information on it, like... Experience the next epic adventure in Capcom's classic samurai action series. <laughs> New weapons and attacks for enhanced combat and devastating moves. A mouth-watering visual feast. PSM. I'm assuming that's PlayStation Magazine. That was a tongue. In case you were curious. Is this dude gonna catch on fire? I don't think human skin burns like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, does anybody have experience with that? Does anybody know how human skin burns? <laughs> Actual question. Pork rinds, right? That's like deep fried pork skin, right? Can you do that with other animals or does it only work with pork? I'm just curious. I just, it's kind of fucked up how I got there. But the whole thing with human skin just made me wonder, would it, like, puff up like pork skin, or <laughs> do we not have, like, the fat content for it? Is it just, like, is there something special about pork skin that makes it able to do that? I'm curious. Anything furless? I wanted to get, like, super pedantic and just be like, uh, technically... Uh, <laughs> pigs do have fur, <laughs> but like, yeah, no, it doesn't fucking matter, it's stupid. Basically furless. <laughs> it is pretty. I now see why, like, that super campy FMV in the beginning there was so low quality. They had to blow the other five gigs on the disc with the in-game cinematics. It's kind of weird that they don't have, like... I'm assuming that was the person's name that came up next to it there. It's kind of weird they didn't have it, like, translated with the subtitles or just straight up translated or anything. So now we have, like, no idea who these people actually are, unless you happen to read kanji? I'm assuming that's Japanese, right? Not Chinese? I mean, obviously, oh, shit, too hot for Twitch. Turn this shit off. Hold on, close your eyes. Hide the children. I think pigs just have similar hair to humans, like a peach fuzz. Yeah, I didn't mean they were, like bunny rabbits or something, you know, with fucking fur fur, but they do have fur, you know, small, thin strands of hair, sparse, <laughs> very much so, that's just one of her tactics, getting naked, <laughs> It seems a little bit sexist. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. They can have a sexy dude get naked on here, and that could be his tactic. Yagyu heard about a demon Yagyu. attack on his hometown, Yagyu Village. Fearing the ominous presentiment in his heart, he desperately raced back home. Did anybody else hear him say fearing, not feeling? He didn't even read the fucking line right, man. <laughs> they left it in the game. <laughs> they didn't even have him re-record the line that he fucked up. <laughs> Unless they fucked up the the subtitle there. Is it a subtitle? If it's the entire screen? Whatever. Point is, they screwed it. They didn't even try to fix that shit. They just left it there. Hey. Hey. Who 
did this. So far, the lip syncing's not terrible, though, which is surprising. Juve. Juve. That's some creepy little kid so, shit. Juve. Come or not. Juve. That's some freaky mommy shit. <laughs> it's a ghost. It's a mommy ghost. I'm calling it. Um. Okay, stick doesn't work. Okay, so we only roll, or we only roll, sorry, I was looking at chat. Now at zero points, you lost them all! Get fucked. You'll get more back eventually, just for being here. Uh, so no analog control, that's fine. It is still tank controls like Resident Evil, old school Resident Evil. That's fine, how do we do anything? Squares attack, triangles nothing, circles nothing, X is nothing. L1, I'm assuming, is guard. R1 seems to be, like, ready attack. Oh, there you go. You got more points now. This is probably a save shrine, right? Magic mirror, you can save the game here! Look at me go, man. I know things. Create new data, yes. Decided to toast your sandwich, and you took your time assembling it. You even put one of your mods and you forgot to preheat the oven. Oof. Hate to see it, my guy. Hate to see it. So does that mean we get to play as multiple characters? I'm assuming each one of those people that uh, it showed off in the beginning, we play through like each one of their stories. Now, since this is a Resident Evil-like game, there's probably like just hidden shit all over the place too. So I'm just clicking X on everything, because you never freaking know when you're gonna find like a health pack or something. Excuse me, sorry. What happened? The bad people. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about the dudes that just murdered him or anything, you know? Just holler at him a couple of times. Murder! Okay. Does L1 block? It does block. Okay. It also seems like we have an auto lock system, so that's handy. Yeah, there's definitely auto lock. Does anybody drop anything? If only I arrived a little earlier, I'm so sorry. Well, too late. They do be dead, though. Chobe! Chobe! It's happened four times already. He will always shout the person's name at their dead body twice. <laughs> Take note. Is, that, is this also important to the plot? Should, should we keep that in mind? <laughs> There's going to be like one character. He doesn't shout their name twice. And secretly he hated them the entire time. He used this attack on the village as a cover story to murder that person themselves. Yeah, as far as I can tell, R1 doesn't actually do anything. Like, sure, we lift our sword, but we don't need to lift our sword to be able to attack. Can we attack and then go straight into it? No, we do have to finish the animation. Before we can block, which makes sense. That's fair. Can we attack on ground? We cannot. Invulnerable on the ground. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes you can attack people on the ground. We got the map. How do we access map? It's there. 
voice volume. It's up all the way. Okay. I wanted to turn that up a little bit, but I guess I guess it's fine. So start then. We got an herb. Is it literally like green herb, red herb, mix herb? Can we? I'm curious if we can mix herbs. Yeah, I mean, it's a basic map, whatever. There's <laughs> right now, there's only like one way to go. There's nothing here. Is there any reason to murder people or can we? Is there like experience? I don't see anything mentioning, like, experience or anything. Obviously, it's not a survival horror game, right? Even though it has, like, the mechanics, or it mechanically feels like Resident Evil with the fixed camera, the tank controls, the herbs, etc. I don't think... Object? Gift. Book? Picture? Yeah, I don't see any kind of, like, experience or anything. Not humans or non-Oni, rather. Okay. So eventually there will be a reason to kill people, is what you're saying. I mean, right now it feels like we kind of have to just because um, it seems like they'll actually chase us down more than they would in, like, a Resident Evil game. Should you really be following the creepy voice, though? Can we chop these down? We can! Let's go! That's actually kind of cool. Herb. Is there anything on this side of the water? Frog? <laughs> wait, wait. What do we use the Ford? Ford? What do we use the uh, frog for? It's a gift. Okay. Does anybody want a frog? I got a frog for you. Dragon Shrine. It says prove your identity. Do we get to like go in here if we prove our identity? How do we prove our identity? I'm assuming... Okay, maybe we like pick something up. Like maybe a, uh, a family crest or shield or something. You want frog? Come get frog. Frog be yours. Statue is radiating dim red light. I can't do anything with it though, can I? Not yet at least. See, more games should have pre-rendered backgrounds and shit, man. It just looks good. I like this style. <laughs> I'm a big fan of, like, classic Resident Evil, God of War, classic God of War, Onimusha. Like, it feels right for a game to have tank controls and pre-rendered backgrounds and shit. Or not even, like, necessarily pre-rendered, but, you know, fixed camera angles and shit. Should really be building a town around the creepy voice. Good point, but maybe the creepy voice wasn't always there. Did she have a snake tail? A demon woman. Oh. The one responsible for burning down Yagyu Village is Nobunaga Oda. What? Kill him, for he is the real demon. I don't trust the mommy demon. What are you talking about? <laughs> you said, <laughs> did you hear that voice actor? That VA does not sound trustworthy. Power to absorb the souls of demons. That's what I'm saying. See, the problem is, I don't think there were discussions between the VAs and the directors. <laughs> I think they were just, like you said, handed flashcards and told, hey, say this. No context. Gather all 
the arms and defeat Nobunaga. Charity. Big pause. Faith. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Why was there such a big pause between the two? Page two had a fucking flip. <gasps> she is demon mommy. I called it, bro. I knew it. I knew it all along. Literally. We got the charity orb. We got play instructions. Fuck yeah. We learned how to play the game. Press and then hold circle to absorb souls. Okay. Soul types. Red is experience. Blue is magic. Yellow is health. Purple will transform you into the Onimusha, okay. Uh, level up at the enhancement screen. If you have magic, use with triangle. Uh, hold R1 and press square to perform charge attack, okay. With a magic weapon. So we can't do it right now because we don't have a magic weapon, okay. That's fair. What's in box? Give me box. Herb. So is that like weird statue with the red light? Is that maybe free experience? Can we absorb it? I think maybe that's what the 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 light statue thingies are for. Maybe. Aha! Do experience? Oh, you dick! I can't see. Do these orbs disappear after an amount of time? Do we have to, like, grab quick? Okay, yeah, one of them did just disappear. Oh, and I was right about the thingy. The thingy does give us free experience. You dick. Where'd the thingy go? Did we get them all? We must have got them all out of it. Holy shit, are these guys actually infinite? Gib, you give your soul to me? You guys wanna just like stay here and level to 100? Are we done now? Are more gonna spawn? I think we're done. We got them. Dudes do be dead though. Do be dudin. Can we go to this now? Can we now prove our identity? So it asked me to show the mark on my hand. It just bites our freaking hand off. <laughs> like you weren't the one we seek. Oh, imagine we didn't freaking go here, man. We would have lost out on a, I'm assuming that's a magic sword based on the like sparklies that came off of it. Is that soul caliber? This is my new power. Speaking of games to play though, I think I have soul caliber too. I will get my revenge. You will pay for this. Nobunaga. In 1568, gold was discovered in the Valley of Imasho. Hopefully it doesn't take us away. I want to go in the... There's a thing in the wall. The North Omi province of Asai and the Echizen province of Asakura. In no time, adventurers and merchants, motivated by greed, crowded into Imasho, transforming the small village into a prospering mining town. You're gonna be rich in no time, bro. Don't worry. Played Soul Cal a bunch, but you don't remember shit. I played the one on GameCube, I, which I think was Soul Calibur 2, a fair bit. Not a ton ton, but a fair bit when I was a kid. Um, really, really liked it. But I, I too don't remember shit, and I don't think I ever ended up finishing the campaign. I don't think. But it was a ton of fun, um, as far as fighting games go. As everybody knows, I'm not a huge fighting game person. I enjoy them. I've just never been particularly good or 
like is the gold cursed i've never been particularly good at them and you know never spent a ton of time playing them it did take us away from the wall i want to blow up that freaking wall don't you want to serve me a little is that the naked lady so you think you're too good for me huh I don't know which orb that was. I'm assuming it's like said on the front of it what it was, but like. Can't read kanji, so it doesn't do me any good. So maybe like each one of those people that it showed. Did we at least hit him with the back of the sword? Anyways, I'm assume, assuming, I'm assuming that each one of the people that it showed in the the intro there were maybe the each of the people that had like the orbs that we're looking for. Man who found the gold. I knew that he thought he was in heaven, but it's very funny that he actually went there. Well, at least now I can be rich thanks to him. Do like random villagers have anything to say? The people that are just looking or looking, just walking. Don't you want to have fun with me, huh? You're not interested in women? I'd be gay as fuck, though, bro. Come back if you change your mind. I'm waiting for you. Wink. Can we just leave? Where's this take us? Can we actually, like, shop? Always me when items are not in their proper places. Oof, hate to see it. This is famous salt, which Shingen Takada, Takeda gave to his arch rival. Words are hard. I don't know how to word. Is it really gonna let us just like leave leave? That's my friend. He was involved in an accident in the cave. Okay then, can we steal a horse? A vigorous stallion. Nothing. Ooh, box. I lied. There's something. A Tengu mask. Is that gonna be important for some reason? I'm assuming that's another gift. Now we should probably also equip this, huh? Did it auto equip? Yeah. Sword with the power of thunder with quick stroke and sharpness. It is easy to handle. Just like my controller. <laughs> Uh, it's another gift. Yes, okay. You have the sort of looks that seem to be asking for trouble. I'll sell you an urn of fortune if you need one. What's an urn of fortune? I guess we could have talked to him again. He might have told us, but too late. Already left. Not going back. Ooh, box. A globe. Is that... Yet another gift? Are gifts just like items to sell? <clears throat> At first I thought maybe gift was just like terrible translation for key item or something. But it seems like just a bunch of random junk. Like globe, tengu mask, frog. Too much I'll quit drinking. Doubtful. Cheap drink causes me headaches. Things are becoming distorted. That's that's drunk, all right. Come rich, please. I need a permit to enter the gold mine. There's room upstairs. Okay. Should we go up there? Ooh, save shrine. Enhancement. 950. Do we get, like, different armor at some point? Like, there's a whole armor tab, so I'm gonna have to assume we do. Which makes me think, like, maybe we shouldn't be putting points into the armor and stuff that we start with. Holy shit, it takes a lot, doesn't it? I mean, to be fair, I guess that was just, like, the first 15 enemies that we came across, though. Nope, okay, what is this, then? Full of mysterious blue water. I can recharge my magic power here. Ah, it's a mana shrine. So it's more or less what I thought it would be. It's just 
I don't suck it up with my hand. I... Oh. Okay. Some of the camera transitions are a little awkward. I'll say that. Kitty! Hi, kitty. We can't interact with the cat? Lame? Why put like a fully modeled 3D kitty here if we can't even interact with it? Can we like give you the frog? Would a cat eat a frog? I know they eat like some small animals and stuff of course, but do frogs count? I don't know if cats ever eat frogs or not. So what happens if we like gift frog give can't give an item here okay so maybe if we talk to different people they'll mention needing or wanting something and then that's what we do with the gifts cheap drink cause you headaches <laughs> by the way is it your brother standing beside you <laughs> yes that's totally my brother don't even worry about it my guy we could go save but i'm sure it'll be fine What's with this random... This camera angle makes it seem like it's trying to show us something. But I don't see anything over there to see. It's just kind of... It just kind of exists. It, it... That's a word? Don't worry about it. <laughs> exist is. Taylor, when you heard of the golden mine, I heard Oda soldiers are wandering the passage. They have assaulted dozens of innocent people. Chest. Map. I like maps. Maps are nice. They're handy. I don't know where we're actually meant to be going, by the way. I'm just exploring semi-randomly. More or less going the way I'm assuming we're not supposed to go. I'm going to assume these guys are bad guys. Yeah, they have red eyes. They're, they're evil. Sword go boom. Can we suck that up? No. Apparently we cannot suck that up. I'm a, I'm guessing that's one of the like Onimusha orb thingies. Maybe those ones we actually have to touch. Telescope. Sounds like another gift. They're making, I don't know if you guys can hear it, it's kind of quiet, but they're definitely making zombie sounds even. Okay, we're gonna have to start being careful. We can suck up experience from really far away at least. It sucks that the, the orbs do disappear after a moment though. Can we, like, suck and guard at the same time? No. You can't suck while you're doing something else, man. You gotta focus fully on the suck or not at all. Gold? Many think. I'm glad zombies carry gold. Up and up and up we go, up we go, up we go. Up and up and up we go, you're a dude. Do you have a permit? I won't allow you to enter the mine. <laughs> about to slash this dude permit. in half and he's worried about the freaking permit. Imagine though. Okay, it's fine. We'll leave. We'll go get a permit. Oh, and everybody respawned. Okay. No, so we do suck those thingies up. They just didn't want to appear last, or just didn't want to get sucked last time, I guess. Oh my god, I, I stopped guarding as soon as the dude went to hit me. Like, literally the worst time. Okay, it doesn't seem like the guarding matters, like, which direction we're facing. It just matters that we're holding the button. 
dicks. I hear more footsteps. I don't think, like, enemies are going to be an issue, man. <laughs> I think there's going to be plenty of enemies to fight throughout the game. I don't see us having any problems finding people to murder. Although it is interesting we seem to be getting less gold from each murder now. I'm guessing that's just a luck thing, though. Does the charge attack use magic or anything? No. Okay. So the charge attack just seems to exist. I don't really see the point of it. I mean, it did, like, knock back the guy in one hit, so maybe that's why you would want to. Assuming we got to go in, in big house. Big house for big permit. There's a chest. Can we break things? We can break things. Smash. Can we interact with this thing? It's like when you're playing, playing Scooby-Doo. When you're watching Scooby-Doo and some things just look like out of place and you know they're going to move, that's what it feels like with with those things, whatever this is. Like, we should be able to interact with this in some way. But it doesn't seem like we can. Also, very disappointed, nothing in any of those barrels. We spent all that time smashing for nothing. Sure, pull the lever. Is this like a timed elevator? Do we need to get over there in a certain amount of time? Maybe. I'm not sure. It might have just waited for us. We got a bow! Let's go. How do we switch weapons? R2 is quick turn. That's good to know, I guess. Uh, circle? Nope, circle sucks. X? X would make sense. Oh. Clicking the right stick. R3 is the shortcut for map. That's interesting. Bow plus arrow. I guess there is no way to quick change weapons. Interesting. We didn't get a permit in here. Um, who were we talking to that mentioned a permit? You like what you see? No woman in this town is more beautiful than I am of that, I am sure. I am a real woman. You had better learn to deal with that. Sorry, I only like traps. Stay alert when you head for the gold mine. I heard soldiers are there, wondering the passage. Saw the dozens of innocent people. They're demons. I wish someone would teach them a lesson. Well, I just murdered a bunch of them. I would assume it would be like... We got confetti? I'm assuming it'd be one of the people just standing around. That would, like, help us along. I'll do anything. Ooh, will you give me a... Thank you, Tupaca419, for following. Thank you. Appreciate the follow, Tupaca. But, like, the people that are just wandering around, I don't think they're going to be the ones that actually help us out. Oh, you're a new person. You weren't here before. Oh. Where did you take my girl? How dare you disturb our time? Together! Oh. 
<laughs> in the world of samurais, guy with gun is the one that will live or live will win. Get over it. What? Seriously, who'd want a red bald head like you? <laughs> That's kind of rude. <laughs> God, you literally made the guy cry. Come on now. One of these fools about to get murdered. It's a fight! It's a fight! It's a fight! It's a fight! How does dude with spears expect to win against guy with gun? I mean, he's pretty good with that spear. We saw it just like cut that pottery in half, but still. Wait, now it's a shotgun? with the spear of the Hazoin. Magoichi Saiga is also an honorable man and is a chief of the Kishu Saiga gun team. But it is dishonorable to fight over such trifle things. And you are? Jubei Yegyu, the young chief of the Yegyu clan. Eh? You are the Jubei Yegyu who is master of the blade? It must be fate that three proud warriors meet in such a town. There will be no fight today. Aguichi, take pity on you instead. <laughs> it's so bad. Not the game, just the VA, man. It's so bad. It's, it's not as bad as like the original Resident Evil. Which I almost hope it was, you know? Because, like, the original Resident Evil was so bad that it was good. This is, like, just bad. <laughs> Give a gift to certain characters and you can expect something helpful in return. A mark will appear on the lower right side of the screen when you approach certain characters. When you see this, press the start button to enter the subscreen and choose a gift. Select gift to offer the gift to the character. Remember, you can only give gift items. Okay. Ah, that's why there's, like, this weird-ass camera angle. So what would he want? Does he want a frog? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do we just give any gift to these people? I'm assuming certain people want certain gifts, but like... I don't quite know how to know. Shop next to my bar sells very interesting items. Quite a few people come buy them. If you want to go there, go out of this bar and use the front door. Since the back door is locked. You need a permit to enter the gold mine? I'll sell you one for 100 gold. Uh, yes, actually. Sick. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. I don't know if there's, like, another way to get it or not. So what do you guys want? Would you, like... A frog? You have given frog. Hmm. It looks fairly cute. <laughs> okay. Seems to be in a positive mood. European hat. Wait. There's actually like a whole gift exchange system? Do we need to do this? What is... I'm so confused. A rare hat from Portugal that has the decoration of a feather. If we talk to them, do they give us a hint? Looking for history books based on the information that there are some in this town, but I've had no luck up to this point. If you find one, please let me know. Okay, so I'm assuming we need to, like, give him a history book or something. Love drinks. I heard there exist rare liquors overseas. I'd like to try those. Alright, 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 alright. So at least they give us some sort of hint that they, of what they want. I didn't expect him to give me something for the frog, though. I mean, like... So the glow pipe and telescope... 
are all foreign items that could have something to do with history. Tengu mask maybe as well. Confetti is food, and this dude apparently likes food and drink. Not exactly a meal. Oh. Never mind. Deer horn. So he doesn't like that kind of food. I'm like worried to give anybody anything because like what if we give somebody the wrong thing and fuck ourselves out of something else? We still can't gift anything to the cat though. That's rude. I want to give the cat the gifts, man. Kitty deserve gifts. Well, since the world changed now, is there anything else, like, out here? Nope. Okay. I guess we'll give the gun dude, I forget his name already. I guess we'll give him one of the historical leaning gifts and just see what happens. I'm sure there's probably, like, entire guides online. On what to give people when and whatnot. Um, here, take a globe. Telescope, globe. That's history esque. I don't need this, but thanks, I guess. Seems like a telescope guy. Maybe he was a telescope guy. God damn it. Freezes as if not knowing what to do. We got artwork. I'm assuming the gift system is just for that. Just for unlocking, like, artwork and behind-the-scenes shit or whatever. I don't think it's something we need to worry about. Whenever we eventually, like, try to beat the game, maybe then we'll, uh, look up a guide and do the, the gift system or something there. Can we actually buy stuff yet? Mm, doesn't seem like it. So descriptions of thieves and murderers are posted here. Be cool if we could actually go bounty hunting. You though, you were specifically mentioned as a shop. It's a variety store where you can purchase various types of goods. Please take time and see if we have something you want. Egg! Grilled fish, salt, vodka, conch shell. Plant book! History book, volume 5. Okay. Artwork number 16. Okay, well, history book. Sure, buy. Oh, no, don't buy the parrot. Wonderflower? If you pass this to someone, he, she will black out. Are they all gift items, though? So the dude wanted booze. Russian liquor that warms your body, mind, and soul. Sure, buy that. It's been like... I'm assuming, like, one person wanted, like, the globe, the... Telescope, <laughs> that's what it's called. And then, like, this compass, maybe? Wait, but someone else has just bought what I was looking for. That sucks. It's a doggy! Look at the little Sheba! Cute little Sheba. You look awesome. A man must be strong and vigorous, don't you think? If you become as strong as this man, then you'd be the best. She told me she liked a fat man. That's why I gained so much weight in a month. She once told me she liked an intelligent man. Women. So wait, she just likes whatever you're not at the time, I'm assuming? I think that's just your hint that she doesn't want you, my guy. Alright, we're gonna gift one more time just because I'm curious. So I think we got these guys the right items now. For what they want see if they actually give us anything like of use vodka give let's have some fun there we go he liked that one what do you give music box 
And the music box is just another gift? It is. I wonder what happens if we, like, gift them the things that they gift us, if they'd get annoyed. Then you wanted books. Take a book. Book on history. It would be better to read them all at once. Become very silent. Wine! Okay. Give telescope to big guy? Deer antler to book guy? Wait, are you like... Are you looking it up? I'm gonna give him wine, and then sure, I'll give him the telescope. I love good drinks! Very delighted and grins. Magic jewel. That seems like it could actually be useful. Yeah! Increase your maximum magic power. There's no reason not to use it, right? That's just an upgrade. So there is a point. Telescope to big guy. Let's see what happens. I don't really care. If we fuck it up, we fuck it up. What do we like? <laughs> I wonder what goodies we could spy with. Oh my god. <laughs> Gives a hearty big laugh. Medicine! Alright, and then... Deer antler to him. Give. I'll make good use of this. Looks to be in a good mood? Gives medicine. I'll make good use of this? Is that like... One of them things where you like grind up the deer antler and it's supposed to help you in bed or something? Is that is that a thing that people did? I don't really understand. I'll make good use of this. It scares me. I need help. Uh, leave. We don't. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Opa Gangnam style. I don't know why that randomly popped in my head. Anyways, let's go back up the mountain, I guess. Kill some more dudes and see if we can actually get in the gold mine now. Here they are. <laughs> Bruh, he disintegrated. Holy hell. We didn't just murder that guy. We murdered that guy. Do we lose any health whenever we're guarding? Or is it like... Nah, it seems like it's pretty much perfect. We don't have to worry about it at all. Guarding is guarding. That's not the guy I thought we were going to attack. Give, give me your souls, please. Just like attack him on the ground, man. Just murder him. We probably like can't be in a combo. I'm assuming it's the combos that are messing up. The, the ground murder. Oh. Well, that time it was probably because, like, somebody else was running up on us and it auto-locked on him instead. Is it actually? I think it is actually decreasing the amount of gold slowly. There's a Google Doc for gifts, only four people to gift to. Oh, for real? I would have thought there would have been so much more, given like how many gifts there were so far. Okay, you can go in. I mean, I know these games aren't super long, or at least the first one wasn't super long, so. Oh hey, history book volume four. Whoa! Oh, my, oh, my, 
tapped. Monsters. A woman wearing armor went in there. I, I, I tried to stop her, but what? Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty sure she can take care of herself. I'm not that worried about her. Um, <laughs> thought it'd be some Dark Cloud 2 shit. I need to play it still, though. We, like, tried it out, but I don't think I ever got to any sort of gifting system or anything in Dark Cloud 2 from what I've played of it. Up or down? Maybe save first, actually. Wait, we just saved. We don't need to again. We're already at the shrine, so fuck it. We save him, boys. I don't know. I'm going to go up. I feel like down is probably, you know, where monsters would be. Deeper in the dungeon. Down in the dark. Oh, hi. Came here because I was curious about the gold mine, but I've never found anything interesting. Do you have anything I might be interested in? Uh, probably. Uh, do you not even recognize me? One of your favorite series of games as a kid, I just started trying them out not that long ago. And honestly, I've really enjoyed what I've played of them so far. I want to actually finish the first one, because like this game, we just tried it out one day and had a, had a fun time with it. As soon as I realized that it was like Resident Evil, but with Samurai, it was all for it. It's like instantly all for it, man. And that hasn't changed one bit. It's used to drain water. Can we not, like, interact with that, though? That looked almost interactable. Maybe not. I like their little hats. Look at the hats. They're cute. <laughs> Ooh, scary. Big teeth. You're dead. Oh, you stabbed me in the back. That was rude. You guys are, like, exactly the same as the people we've been fighting so far, though. Except you might be a little more willing to attack. I mean, it's still very early game. I shouldn't be surprised. Got two. I'm wondering what the Onimusha thing is going to do. I do think we got it in the first one at some point. Just some, like, Super Saiyan mode or something. I figure we have the magic. We might as well use it, right? Oh, you're not dead. <laughs> My bad. Thought you were dead. Let me guard. Can we like power ground attack? No. Uh, towards the screen. I don't recognize the name. I wouldn't be surprised if I've heard some of their work before, but I am terrible with names. Absolutely terrible. If you know anything they've done, like, off the top of your head, though, like, popular things, then I can tell you if I recognize them or not. I do have the third game as well. I hope to play it at some point. There's a uh, a lot of games in the box of games to try at the moment, though. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love how the gun dude's just, like, chilling. And just admiring his gun, not even trying to help. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he's an actual actor, like a normal actor. He was the hitman in the movie The Professional. I don't recognize it off the top of my head, to be honest. I'm not sure I've seen it before. The Professional. I, I think what I need to do, honestly, is just, like, Google it. You know? Well, Google him, just to see if I recognize him. That'd probably be my best bet in that case. Being an, an actor, actor. Old as dust now. <laughs> well, that was easy. Please help. Huh? My daughter. You know. My daughter was French actor. By monsters. Oh, I've seen him so, before. Is your daughter pretty? Oh, of course. I think she is the most. Was it then the Pink Panther the that I saw him? Great! I shall bring her back to you. Oh. Tell me, where did the monsters go? That way. Yes, yes, yes. Or maybe the Da Vinci Code. Probably saw him in there as well. He's always getting into trouble. Yeah, most of the movies he's been in I haven't seen. But there are a couple of them that I have at least. Just at a quick glance, at least those two movies I've seen that he's been in. According to Google, he was at least. Um, guessing this way. So what I get for not watching the cutscene. <laughs> There's only two directions to go. One of them gotta be right. I did know. Uh, I did see that he was in Godzilla as well. That was on the list. But I'm not sure which Godzilla I saw off the top of my head. When I was younger, I used to watch a fair few of the Godzilla movies. Uh, but I was little, little. So, like, I don't remember much about them or which ones or if I even saw them in order or anything like that. And sadly, I haven't seen any of the, the modern Godzilla ones or any of that universe. I'm very behind on a lot of things in life. Hence why I'm playing hundreds of PS2 games. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a descendant of the Onichi Hogan clan who was famous for their yin-yang mastery and strategy in Kyoto during the Heian period. The Oniichi Hogan clan has an Oni ancestry. It is said that a founder of Oniichi Hogan <laughs> was entrusted with five orbs of the Oni clan. Uh, five orbs are the orbs. We who took over the clan have been looking for the five orbs for generation. I finally found the charity orb in this gold mine. However, the demons are all around me and I will not be able to make it back alive. Therefore, I have hidden the charity orb and have left this memo for a brave warrior to find. You must find all the five orbs and defeat the demons. Signed, the 13th Oniji Hogan. Then how did the charity orb get to us? Like, how did that demon lady get the orb? The gift to us. Oh, we got a spear. Magic spear? So is this like more powerful attack but less less AoE? And what kind of magic is it? Wind? Ice. That looks like ice. I'm assuming there's probably some sort of elemental weakness system or something that we could exploit if we were smart. I mean, it seems to... seems to AoE just as good as the sword does, honestly. None of the weapons really seem like geared towards AoE that we've gotten yet. I just want the orbs, bro. Give me. Give me all of it. How does it block? The same. As far as I can tell, there's no difference in the block between the sword and this. The block, like, as long as you're holding the button, you're just invulnerable to at least basic attacks. I'm assuming there's probably, like, bosses would have power attacks or something that are unblockable. But at least all these basic uh, mobs here, they all attack the same. They all act the same.
It does feel like it might be a little bit stronger. Noodle, thank you for the five bits. I'm tempted. I still haven't... Well, no, we already started powering up the sword. So if we do decide to dump any more experience into anything before we finish up with a PS2 tonight, we'll probably just keep dumping into sword. I am curious, like, how much stronger the weapon will get once it hits level 2. If it's going to be, like, a noticeable change or it's just barely a change. Can't remember which way we came in, so... Pick a direction and go. Bokuichi, you fool! Hmm. I won't forgive you! Why are they fighting again? Bro, we already did this. You're like children. Eke, have you found the daughter? Not yet. Then why are you wasting time? I have to settle this first. I dream of becoming a feudal lord. I'd do anything to make it happen. Anything! Even serve Nobunaga. Yes. Mm. Point is, Makuichi laughed at my dream. I laugh because it's silly. Jubei, what's your dream? I don't have a dream. I will kill Nobunaga. Isn't that your dream then? A man possessed by a vengeful ghost. <laughs> a vengeful ghost? What do you mean? Makuichi! Gameplay, great. Characters, so far I'm not convinced. They're just dumb. <laughs> what is this? Seems to respond to the Oni power. You can see ice glistening inside. And so we need to do this. There we go. God, dude has a musket. I know, that shoots apparently whatever kind of ammo is convenient for the time. <laughs> it shot a slug whenever he was first introduced to us, and then uh, whenever he was fighting Moguichi or the other guy, I can't remember names. Like I said, I really am terrible with names. Uh, whenever he was fighting him, it turned into a freaking shotgun when he shot it at his feet. Like, It does seem like the more we kill an enemy, the less gold they give us. So they have a tell when they're gonna attack. Are you dead? No. Oh. An auto lock said, screw you, you're not killing this guy on the ground. Okay. Gib. Gib before despawn. I do wish that's like the one thing so far I'd change about the series in general. It's having to absorb the souls. Just give them to me, man. Don't make me stop and try to suck them up or whatever. It was the same with uh, Grim Grimoire whenever we played it. It's not terrible or anything. It's definitely something I can deal with, but... It's so much more convenient whenever it just does it for you, kind of like God of War. I think today's your 11th anniversary at work. Um, congrats, I guess. <laughs> happy, happy 11th anniversary. I'm sure you're celebrating. What does the medicine do? Is it just a like bigger heal than the herbs? Some of your vitality, a little bit of your vitality, yes. Okay. Oh, hey, cool. I was just talking about wanting to try the enhancement. We will dump it in you just because, again, I want to see what a level 2 does. We're probably not going to make it to level 2, though. It says charity. Will you put the charity orb here? I feel kind of like we shouldn't just give up our orb that easily, but sure. Why not, right? Celebrating with a day off? Hell yeah. That's the best way to celebrate a work anniversary. Don't freaking be there. Maybe there will be cake. <laughs> there may be sucking enhancements. That just out of context. I love it. Give me that sucking enhancement, please. I could use one of those. <laughs> My suck game be weak. 
<laughs> Anyways, I would like some sucking enhancements. Legitimately, like, in-game. Spider Centaur? For some reason I almost said Spider Hentai. My head's in a weird place right now, I think. I don't know. Don't mind me. Oh no, you're not a spider. You only have four legs. That burn, though, not equal, better. Get wrecked. Are we being sucked in? This game got that suck game, too, though. But yeah, see, like, it seems like he can... Sometimes power attack to our guard? Oh my god, I suck. This looks like a power attack? Yup, that was some kind of power attack. Okay. Are you coming to save me? Or just coming to help? Either way, I think it's time we use a little bit of that medicine though. Let's try an herb. That uh, heals a decent amount, honestly. I mean, I assume as our... Oh, we're out of magic, okay. I assume as our life bar gets higher, we're gonna need the medicine more often to heal. Speaking of, let's use another herb. I really don't want to die to this boss. Use. Can we get the final orb we need? I want to see what the Onimusha thing is like before we, before we quit today. If we can. You dick, stay put. I'm trying to murder. I can't murder if you keep moving. Yeah, suck him up. I like that better. Ow. Dick. I need to remember back button is dodge button. I literally walked into that like an idiot. This is a great camera angle. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, I'm being sucked. Help. Don't give me the suck, please. I'm not into centaurs. Sp spider send I really don't know what to call you. And you got murdered, so <laughs> what about it? Aw, he shriveled up. Oh. Did it turn red? That's a little... Oof. Now for some women! Oh, uh, he knows what he likes, I guess. But why did everything just turn like red AF when we killed him? Was he the only thing keeping the mine going? We went the wrong way. This away. Smash. Nothing. What are you? What's this? That's a great freaking question. What is that? 
Hello, old man. forced us to work in the mines as slaves. I'm the only one who survived. Oof. Everyone else died from the exhaustion. Are you alright? Hang on! <laughs> Why are his eyebrows doing that though? Like, that's meant to be a sad moment. But then his eyebrows just started... <laughs> like going crazy though. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Well. I feel fine now. By the way, the woman you were looking for might have been taken into the hole. The hole? Yes, it's inside the gold mine, but the opening is blocked. Yay though. Oh, that There's thing. One way. You can enter the hold. Please. Convenient we found you right after it. This to open the cover. It's a donut. What's that? I don't know exactly. A donut. But you can open the cover if you place this on top somehow. I just found it lying around there and I kept it. Please, take it. That donut's a little stale Inside though. Sounded pretty hard yes. when he sat it down. I have to go now. Thank you. No, thank you, Everything. good sir. Thank you. Does that mean we have to run all the way back through the mine again to get there? Since the game teleported us out? Thank you. Yeah, I don't exactly trust the guy. I mean... I don't think he's screwing us over in any way. Like, I'm pretty sure it's fine. But that is sus as hell, you know? I think the game is just the game. It's just... <laughs> that's just the way they do things here. Okay, everything seems normal. That dude's not blocking this door anymore. This just goes to the general store, though, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a lot more people in the general store now, though. Who are you? What a salesman. He never goes down in price. Okay. Sure. I guess we save? We still got a few minutes left. I really want to... I really want this sword to upgrade already. So we can try a level 2. And I also really want to get the Onimusha thing. But I'm also, like, falling asleep, so I feel like we should probably do the cozy game and wind down. Also, it says we have the charity orb, but uh, last I checked, charity orb is a little gone. We kind of sacrificed it <laughs> to open a door. I'm sure that won't come back to bite us at any point. Hello, you weren't here before. You can come back here anytime. You were like a dream. <laughs> Can't you feel my heart beating for your love? These people do be horny, though. Now, are the enemy spawns going to be the same? Because there was a guy up here that kept dropping an orb, right? No. Okay. <laughs> You're not creepy or anything. The spawns have definitely changed. <laughs> No, don't attack that one. Attack the frozen one. Okay, it's dead anyways. I thought it was going to be one of them things where, like, you had to attack it when it was frozen, or they were just going to come back to life. Oh, no. They come out of the ground. I'm having flashbacks of God of War, man. That enemy... I forget their name, but the one that we spent, like, way too freaking long on really struggled with. The, the dudes with the blades that come, like, spinning up out of the ground. And then they sink back into the ground and repeat over and over again. Ah. 
That's what they're making me think of. Oh, you're fast. Too fast to stab on the ground, I guess. Unless we're like there ready for it, then we probably could have. So why does anybody go to this gold mine? Literally every time you come up the path to get to the gold mine, you get murdered. Dog. I'm really sad we can't interact with the animals in any way. Well, the Shiba we were able to say hello to, but that's been the only animal. The cat? Nope. That dog there? Nope. There are monsters, but there's also gold. I don't want to die, but I want to be rich. Sounds rough, my guy. So tired. What do you want of me? Just go home then, man. There's nothing stopping you. Well, I guess besides, like, the monsters on the road. That, that's kind of stopping you, maybe. Which, fair. Can't, can't argue with that one, man. The threat of death would make me possibly not want to... Eyeball! <laughs> Wait. Oh no, he's sucking my magic out of me. Do we need to like bow you? Eyeball is rude. Somebody give me the last freaking orb I need, please. Stop running away. I'm trying to murder you. Stay put. Thank you. I appreciated that. It was a huge help. You're a new <gasps> orb. Let's go. Oh, it automatically activates when we get it, though. I thought it would be, like, something we could activate. So, wait. Were we just invincible for a moment? It didn't seem like we could do combo attacks. What are you guys? Freaking hedgehog monsters? Did not appreciate the hedgehog monsters, I gotta say. Not my favorite. It's really hard to attack people on the ground, man. No! Not the freaking eyeball. Eyeball annoying. Ice power is pretty good, though, actually. Being able to freeze, like, a whole line of people like that, that's a handy move. Here we go. I think we'll have enough to upgrade our sword now. Yes. Level increased. Okay. So now, how much stronger is it? The only problem is, I guess, we don't have a good idea for... How much damage it was doing to these enemies that we're fighting now. I didn't know all the enemies were going to, like, completely change. I'm glad they did, to be clear. Like, more enemy variety is a good thing. But it was also a bit unexpected. Oh. Oh, shoot. Hi. You're a dude. Oh, my God. I mean, it seems pretty strong, but we were also using magic there, so... Was it just strong because magic? Or was it strong because strong? Oh. Not nice. How do we stop from that from happening?
I guess we could like range pull out the bow. But other than that, I don't know if there's any way for us to deal with it. Other than just accept that we're going to get hit. What's at the end of this tunnel? It's like we found that guy here, but there's still more path. Some boxes. Ooh, big clump of gold. Oh, that's it. Just dead end. Okay. Chest, though. Red chest. How does this work? Oh, God. I have no idea how this works. And we only get four tries, I'm guessing? Does it slide? Let's go. <laughs> Yojin Yara secret? That would be under file, right? Album? No, that's just the artwork. What is... Is it like lower down on the list? No. Oh, here. Scroll allows you to execute the hidden technique of this weapon. Down, up, plus square. Is that the weapon that we're using right now? No, this. Down, up, plus square. Okay. Now I wonder, does that actually like enable it for us? Like, can we not use that unless we find the scroll? Or is that the sort of thing where if you knew it ahead of time, you could still do it? The mirror is a gift, yes. I'm guessing the, the lady dude maybe would want the mirror so he could see himself. Make himself pretty for the ladies. Must be the cover that he spoke of. Do I have to go into menu? Menu's item? Red ring. Use. Use the red ring. Perfect. Let's go. Go down that hole. The frog hole. Or turtle? Maybe it's a turtle hole. Mysterious cave revealed its entrance. Come into the hole. Yes. Give me hole. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this looks friendly. You're invulnerable to being frozen. No surprise there. Let's equip our level 2 weapon because why not, I guess? Wait, are you. You're already dead. Oh, there's more of them. Okay. I was gonna say, man, don't tell me like he died that easily. Or like the whole fight was over that easily, rather. That was the whole fight. Okay. That was a lot easier than expected. I like the design here, though. There's a lot of variety in the world so far, which is cool. It's nice not having the same thing over and over and over again. Then we had burned village, then we had cave, then we had populated village, and then we had cave. <laughs> now we have cool demon cave, though, or temple? You're a dick. 
Magic really seems like where it's at, man. At least if you have any mana left. This is like literally a whole other world, huh? It's like we're outside now. Doors locked from the other side, it won't open. Of course. Wait, is this where we just came out of? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Go back up. Why does this look familiar? Juve, about the conversation earlier. Do you remember the vengeful ghost thing? It's in the area from the first yeah. game, is it the village? Ege used to be a warrior, and the feudal lord he served lost a great battle. At that time, Ege lost his wife and child. Despite that incident, he still holds on to his stupid dream. But even if his dream comes true and he becomes a feudal lord, Another battle will occur, and many people will die. It's the same for you. If you should defeat Nobunaga, another will rise to take his place. It never ends. That doesn't mean we should just let tyrants and demons run wild, though. Somebody's got to put them in their place, even if it is temporary. I think this is the area from the first game, man. I'm almost positive. It looks so similar. Keep town map. Problem is, like, I don't remember what the town from the first game was called or anything, though. Oh, that dude's got a bow. That could be a problem. Maybe we should, like... Okay, yeah. We should probably run up here. Can we run up here? I guess we have to equip our own bow, but, like... Unless there's some special way to lock on to a specific enemy, he's just gonna keep shooting us, and we're just gonna end up shooting the wrong people. Until everyone else is dead. You dick, I didn't think you could see me here. Can we go in this door? Aha! Mana shrine. Is there a shrine shrine? Oh, what are you? You're another type of puzzle, aren't you? Okay. Fifteens. Nine, one, five. Okay. So everything needs to equal 15. So 9 plus 8 would be too much already. So 7, 8, 9. So maybe the 2. Can we move things after we place them? No. I mean, four would have to go here. And then six here, which just leaves eight for here. Let's go. Bronze mask right. Is that part of armor? Or is that another? That's another. Or no, wait. It is an actual object. Designed after an elephant head. Okay. Maybe that's a key, actually. Looks like it could be a key of some sort. Oh good, everybody respawned. More people respawned. There's now two archers up there. Okay, screw those guys. Dealing with the archers is too much of a pain in the ass for me to want to deal with. Why can I not do magic attacks against this guy? Is it because he was blocking? There we go. 
I think the magic attack worked against him, even though I was technically, like, hitting the other guy with it. Herb. I'm so confused on where we've come from already. It's kind of interesting that we're not, like, fighting alone this time around. There are other people that just kind of randomly show up and fight with us and whatnot. In different areas, that's interesting. Neat mechanic. Cherry Blossom is... Okay. So we need some sort of key with a Cherry Blossom inscribed on it. <laughs> Excuse me. You dead yet? Nope. Dead now, though. Chest. Another locked chest. We can do this. Okay. So. We have three moves. If I push you. Over. If I. Over, down, over. Let's go, dude. Geniuses. Power Jewel, is that a life? Or is that strength? Life. Wonder if those chests are just like one shot or if you actually, like do you get another chance if you mess one up? Because if they're gonna have like actual useful things in them, imagine fucking it up, man. That would suck. Didn't expect to find, like, normal enemies. You're not a normal enemy. Also, what was that? Was that a... Was that just a normal dude? Maybe it was just a normal dude. It looked like a wheel. When it was just kind of on the screen. Door's locked. I need a special item to open it. Could it be... The mask is probably too small, huh? Never mind, the mask was perfect. But I was right, it was a key. I think this is. I think this is the same freaking village building whatever from the first game. Regardless though, it is way past 2.30. Let's wind it down for the night. This will be going on the list of games to complete. I just really enjoy the Onimusha games, man. I like their... their controls i like the combat memory card for playstation 2 cannot be found what okay that was weird anyways i have fun with them so we're gonna put it on the game the list of games to complete but i'm gonna switch over the uh thingy to the ps5 and we're gonna wind it down a little bit with uh seizure simulator 2020 whenever it came out uh <laughs> pioneers all the town PRB!